Now, this is sort of a feast or famine situation. Some days the shelves at MSU Denver's Roadrunner Food Pantry are full. Other days, they're empty. And this week, the shelves were so bare, a student stepped in to help restock them. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez spoke with students today. And Lance, some students really just need this to get by. Well, that GoFundMe effort was a success, but the need is always there. I spoke with one student who told me her first two years of college were very stressful because every once in a while, she didn't know if she was going to have a meal to make it through the day. Now we know that about a thousand non-traditional students, many of them with families of their own, have grown to depend on the Roadrunner Food Pantry. We just got some donations today. This is our fridge and our freezer. The coolers and shelves at MSU Denver's Roadrunner Food Pantry look a lot better today than earlier in the week when the fridge was empty. The pantry, started by student government in 2007, plays a crucial role in helping non-traditional students get through the day. It was super stressful. Molly Mendieta remembers being food insecure her first two years in Denver. Now she's in student government and tells incoming students the pantry can be like home. I know for sure that I can go somewhere and get a couple of items and at least get a snack um, to go through the day. It kind of means like comfort and security. Alexander Horton has picked up snacks there too. He's been there when it was nearly empty. I'll, I'll take what I can get and, and that's fine and make it into something if I have stuff at home that it can pair well with or if I have to go get other food to make it work as a cohesive meal, then that's fine too. The interim director of the Student Care Center says the pantry provides more than just food. People who are trying to support their family on it, who are coming in and you know getting diapers, who are getting uh, stocking up for the week. So I think everyone has a different experience. Erica Quintana Garcia says they'll be making fall baskets soon to give out before Thanksgiving. So they're looking for donations, food and gift cards. If you'd like to help, we'll have a link on our website. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.